Hi crew, welcome to the Captain Calamity Adventures here at Kitropolis in the October half term 2017 at XL. And I am here with a very, very glamorous and lovely <laughs> <laughs> Naomi from <laughs> the wild, like from that. Naomi's wild, wild and scary. And scary. Now Naomi, you're doing shows today. Yes. And you have been throughout the week. Yeah. But I want to hear more about your adventures. What's what really sticks in the mind? What can oh, you tell us some stories? I'm so lucky. I've been all over the place to places I would never have chosen to go on holiday. What a great job. Quite man. random places, you know. Quite remote and quite extreme places you know like the desert or the jungle or um, Australian outback you know places that are just not many people get to go to so I feel very fortunate to have been to some of these places and places you love that you would go back to or places that you really absolutely will never return to and you're really glad that you got out of there the jungle I, I don't really enjoy being in the jungle, you're not a, it's, kind of jungle hard. it's hard it's sweaty it's hot it's boiling there are bugs everywhere you walk through big webs and leeches come to try and get you and it's a bit Ooh, yeah. It's quite extreme, but Ooh. some people love it. Some of the team that I go with, they are in heaven. They're in, 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 they're there. really and because in. it is packed with wildlife, so it's fascinating from that point sure. of view. Um, but yeah, jungle's not my favourite place. Being in the sea, I love actually. I love going the out on a boat. A yeah, and I just, I just find it a really exciting place to be. And you, uh, what, what did you do? And tell us about one of your sea adventures. I have since been swimming with seven different species of shark. Not in a cage, just snorkeling. What, the killer type? No. But the, do you know what? There aren't really killer sharks. They are never wanting to eat a human being. It would not be their choice of dinner. Well, it's sort of, of accidental. A chunk of calamity. They don't, no, they don't have hands, they don't have knives and forks, so they can't sort of come and test and say, oh, you dinner. So the only way they can test is a little bite, but and then they go, oh, no, that's take a leg off. bony and you know, not like a seal or something that they want to eat. Okay. So, you know, most sharks, they'll sort of look at you and then they'll just cruise on by and get on with their own businesses. Yeah. So I was really fearful of sharks, so it's been a big overcoming of phobia. I, I've noticed there's a theme in your show, <laughs> which is a lot to do with getting over certain hang-ups or fears yeah. that you have. And that a lot of people do have. It's common, yeah. And there's a big one with the spiders, isn't Yeah, there? yeah, arachnophobia is so common. And it's, it is irrational, especially in this country, because we don't have anything to worry about. You no, know. no, there's nothing. Spiders aren't going to give us any bad diseases or anything, and um, but we're you were a lot bigger than them. <laughs> but you were in Australia, and there were some... <laughs> yeah, yeah. There were some big fellas out there. Yeah, that handsome spider. It's a whopper, my goodness. You wouldn't even be able to get a pint glass over the top of that, would you? It'd have to be a but, saucepan or something. That was Source a big boy, and a definitely. magazine to get rid of it. <laughs> and that, you have that in your hand. Mm. But they're not dangerous, they're just fast, you know? They, yeah, they're not going to do you damage. Actually, a tiny little spider in Australia could rake back. They're that the dangerous would, ones. <laughs> that would they're do the more ones damage. that would kill you. Yeah, but they haven't killed anyone, that's the other thing. It's like, last year, how many people in Australia died from spider bites? Like 20 million, I don't know. None. No, no. Not a single person. Because they've got anti-venom and stuff and people are careful and no and people in Australia are so cool about the animals that so live there. It just doesn't, it just, this perception is just all wrong. It is, we've got a lot of things wrong. Has that been a big thing for you that you've discovered that you've just got it so wrong? So wrong. And also I've become really passionate about looking after it. I think the more you learn about creatures and stuff and the more you find them fascinating and you start to really love them, Care about them, so then you want to do anything you can to make sure that everything's okay for them. And can, can I ask you an environmental question? Hmm. It's, it's another theme of your show is that every little thing helps. Yeah. That even even though in the UK we feel that well we can't do that much ourselves to save the world. You, in your show, you talk about the fact that really. Everybody can do something. I think everyone, children, everyone can help. And, and it is that mindset of it's a small thing, but a small thing done on a big scale by a lot of people does have an impact. It really matters. I think so. I think we just need to change our behaviour. Think that we got used to, you know, taking a plastic bag at the shops, taking another plastic lid and cup from a coffee shop, and, you know, things that we can easily take our own cup along. We can take our own bag. We can use better cleaning products that aren't going to go into the ocean we can be careful what we flush down the loo we can do things that then won't end up in a whale's tummy by mistake or something and, and then in doing so preserve the life of these of amazing creatures 
some of the, 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 the animals that you, you have come across? Yeah, in your journey? I've, I've met some absolutely. Yeah, and again, creatures I didn't even know existed, you know, and you go into the prehistoric Yeah, like that snapping turtle oh, that we've no. got. Whoa, I mean, you, you just don't think things like that would exist. But yeah. Incredible. So, can we just finish off on, because I'm sure people want to know, just maybe you can pick one little story or one little incident that sticks in your mind for either a really good reason or for something that um, that, that maybe you know uh, uh, something that you never want to go back and, and, and um, repeat again um, we <laughs> we were out in Costa Rica looking for a very highly venomous sea snake so we were out on a boat in the middle of nowhere a long way from any help we found this sea snake, we got it on board, the gentleman, the expert with us was fantastic, he got it on board and we had a tank on the boat ready to plop it in so we could all have a good look at this snake. He plopped it in this little tank and straight away it went and came straight out of the tank. We all kind of leapt up on the side oh, of the boat. Killer, this would really, yeah, this, you'd Do be in damage. trouble if you got bitten by this snake and didn't have anti venom help. So we were all on the edge of this boat. Thankfully, our expert very quickly managed to scoop it up and put it in the tank and we put a lid on it this time. But for a moment, all of our hearts were like. Yeah, that was that was a. The things you don't see on camera. Yeah. No, so no one ever knew that happened. <laughs> oh no, I think it was in the program. Oh really? It was. In. Half the time they leave all our mistakes in. That's so what people want to see. Isn't yeah. It? But uh, that was pretty hairy. Well, thank you so much. Man. No, it's thank been, you. It's been a real pleasure talking. Good fun, to you. this Kitchen, isn't it? It is. It's oh, lovely. Good time. It's lovely to get some chance to talk to you as well. Yeah. So my crew out there, um, can I can I ask you to do something? Yes. For me? Okay. Of this course. is my, this is the sign off I do with the, the, on my show. Okay. And it's um, be safe. Be safe. Be smart. Be smart. Be smiley. Be smiley. See ya. See ya.